Greetings, friend. We're playing outward. We're right back into it. Right back into the hardcore playthrough. We're in the Ziggurat Passage. We're just about to exit. Um, volume's kind of loud for me. Yeah, we just came into the Ziggurat Passage. Um, we just got through it, actually. We went back in in order to repair the Fang Knuckles, so... Those knuckles getting badly damaged constantly. It's a constant struggle with fang weapons. One of the downsides of them. All right, bags overweight. I uh, can move some things to the pocket here. There we go. Got this mana stone. I don't know if I mine. I might may have mined this. Yeah, I mined that in the previous episode. Is there a treasure chest back here? Kind of think there may be. No. Just seems like there should be. All right. On our way to um, on our way to Giant's Village. Talk to the High Lord Seer. Begin that Ash Giants quest. I think technically we've already begun the quest. But we haven't spoken to High Lord Seer yet. Got a couple of bandits up ahead. Looks like the Ice Witch. Um. Go Cool Boon. Warm Boon as well. Go fire rag. Um, go there. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Nice. Mmm, don't even try it. Okay, the sweet kick mana push combo. I love when it works out. There are times when it doesn't really work out though. Last episode against one of those. Um one of those big guys in the voltaic hatchery. I don't even know what they're, what they're called. Okay, I've got the slow speed, slow movement speed from the eye switch. But yeah, the uh, the sweep kick and mana push, I just wasn't quick enough. This dude, not enough mana for the... Alright. Oh. Okay. Come on now. This guy's gonna end me. Hmm. Let's go. Take a life potion. Mm -hmm. I'm doing that prismatic flurry. I'm not supposed to do that. I'm trying to do a mana push there. Got this guy bleeding out. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. 
Come on. There you go. Okay. Iron sword? He's destroying me with an iron sword. I want to head down here in this little uh, structure down here. Let's get some of that burnt health recovered. Hmm. Mushroom bars. I don't have any mineral tea. That's another thing I like to use to restore the burnt health. Mana. Another termit pottage. Restore the mana. All right. Gonna get poisoned right here. Antidote. That antidote cures the poison there. The Under Island Dungeon. There's some information on the Ash Giants you can collect in here. giant book. This appears to be a book written by an explorer who spent a year living near the giants. A lot of the pages are ruined, but many sections remain intact. Read about giant family structure. Giant children are examined by the high monk and the high lord when 20 years old. Their position in life is decided. Builders, merchants, and craftsmen serve the high monk. And soldiers, artists, and farmers are governed by the high lord. Families of deceased giants will give a heart from the dead to the local high monk who will use their craft to merge the stone heart into the porcelain art so that some part of the giant's life will endure beyond their death. The High Lord will then commission a silk banner to reflect that giant's deeds and knowledge. Ash giants believe that death is final. Not only the works that have been created in porcelain and ash silk endure beyond death. They do, however, believe in passing down the wisdom of their ancestors via these crafts to educate and guide their descendants. Read about giant law and punishment. Giants who cause minor transgressions must make amends to the person they wronged and must create a porcelain item or an ash silk item for the wronged party, depending on their trade. Larger transgressions carry the penalty of exile for 20 years. After that time, the giant may attempt to seek forgiveness and return to giant society. A giant may be forgiven only twice, once in the name of the Dawn Weaver and once in the name of the Dusk Father. After a third transgression, the giant may never return to their colony and is considered dead to them. However, returning an exile's heart is welcome, as even the worst giants are considered to have a place within their history. The only crimes that are unforgivable across all of giant society are the murder of a silk weaver or a porcelain crafter. For every other offense, it is possible to seek forgiveness after the period of exile although each giant tribe uses their own dis discretion for whether or not to forgive a crime. Close the book, all right. So you learn about the structure. So you gotta get a jewel in each of these. Sapphire, emerald, ruby, all the different jewels. You can insert, insert them there and then this gate opens up. You can deal with those troglodytes. I don't have the jewels I need. But yeah, we learned about some giant culture there. That, that'll help us in the Ash Giant's quest as we negotiate with the High, with the high Lord Seer.
All right, why isn't it? Okay. Got to take another antidote. <laughs> All righty, let's head back up. Giant's Village, it's just around the corner. All right, let's get there. A couple more bandits. Another ice witch situation. All right. Hmm. Maybe we'll uh, do prismatic on one of these guys. Rage. Go fire. Sprint. Hmm. Sweepy? Yeah. Hmm. That was nice with the sweep kick, the mana push, put him to the ground, then the prismatic flurry on top of that. Worked out well. Dun, 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 dun. More banditos. That wasn't quite fair. His health was already dragged down. He took out these guys. Stekasaur. Stekosaurs are actually deceptively tricky, in my opinion. Survivor Elixir. Looks like we got an ash giant ahead. Yep, we want to deal with him. We want to make him pay for wandering around, intimidating people. Um, we're booned up. Let's just drink these. Um, go, I guess we'll go just, I don't know, go bolt rag. Actually, I shouldn't have done that. Ice rag. Let's go ice rag. Because we don't have blessed boon. Now with, with ice rag, we'll be able to we got cool boon going, so that's good. Okay. Prismatic. Take your time, patience. Hmm. No, oh, that, that that's a hammer right there. Cool. Guess we'll just take it all. Got the caravan right here. We can uh, sell quite a bit. Greetings, friend. Greetings. Mm, sell those pretty big weapons there. 
Pretty heavy weapons. Get the bag lightened up. Mm, all right. I think I'm good with that. Some more health regeneration. There's a giant's village up ahead. Let's speak with High Lord Seer here. When I first entered Giant's Village, the first play in this game, I was immediately petrified. Walked right in, saw the two giants standing, you know, right here. Immediately left. Just left Giant's Village. Took a deep, couple deep breaths. Realized that maybe there are some civilized giants who aren't out to get me. Hello, my friend. Hello. Got ingots. Let's sell some of these jewels. Yeah. Um. There we go. Loading up on ingots. Light Mender's Lexicon. I don't, I'm not going to use that. I should probably get rid of that. Hello, my friend. Sell the Burnt Lantern. Lexicon for now. Hello, my friend. Like to talk? Oh, what? I'm here to negotiate an alliance between the giants and the Blue Chamber Collective. You will need to speak with High Lord Seer. Good luck. I do not think he's interested. Hello, my friend. Let's drink some water. Okay, we're good on water. Marshmallow and jelly, nice. Stamina recovery, five for the jelly, as well as the marshmallow and tartine. Marshmallow and tartine recipe. Learn that. Warrior elixir, I can sell that recipe. Let's talk to Seer. A human in my village? I'm here on behalf of the Blue Chamber Collective. We want to form an alliance with you. Oh, is that all? You want big, nasty giants to eat your enemies alive, don't you? You think you're bigger than you are, little speck. Many leaders in my tribe all consider you very important, want to invite you to represent your people in the Blue Chamber Collective. Oh, now they consider High Lord Seer important. What changed? You say for real I get to be a leader in this Blue Room Collection? Maybe we can discuss this. I want good things for my people, and if I can get them from little humans by just take talking and not with war, that will help my people. If you want alliance talk, you need to prove you have goodwill for us. 
even if it means danger for you. You go to the cave where the swamp lizards live, and you bring back some obsidian root for us for medicine. You do this. To get there, you go west into Belly of Swamp, then you go to the, the cave with glowing flower on root above it. If you're not willing to face giant lizard for us, you're not worth being ally. I make arrangements for the talk. Come back before end of month. I hope discussion leads to new understanding. Quest has been updated. Find a rare root that grows in a reptilian lair in the center of the marsh. All right. I've got some bread. I can make the tartine if I uh, get a cooking pot. Hello, my friend. Sell the hat. Mineral tea, I should. No, no, no. I've got tons of mineral tea. Okay. Let's get the cooking pot, it'll be fine. Let's get some wood. Okay. Did I get the wood? I've got three wood. Oh, it wasn't scrolled up far enough. Okay. Gather some more water, make some mineral teas. Make that marshmallow tartine. Stamina recovery five. It's a must have. I don't have mineral tea recipe. Okay. That's an issue. Does Gold Belly have recipes? Hello, my friend. Gold varnish. Charges Golem Elixir. Maybe let's just get that for fun. Stone flesh elixir. Yeah. Let's get these elixir recipes. Got plenty of silver. Hello, my friend. I'll sell him the uh, warrior elixir recipe. And I got to purchase. I gotta purchase some mineral teas here. Five. Hmm. Hello, my friend. It's got the Kintsugi, it's got... Hmm, anything that I want here recipe-wise? No. I wish someone had a good tent. I'm living with the the bedroll. It'd be nice to get a, a nice tent that gives me some stamina recovery when I sleep. Some stamina bonuses. At some point gotta get the luxury luxury tent this character needs the luxury tent a mining pick hmm. we'll exchange our damaged mining pick for that one
Got a lot in the bag. A lot in the bag. Hmm. All right. Let's get over to the cave. Maybe I go to Monsoon first. Go to Monsoon first, sleep in the, uh... Well, no, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'm not gonna sleep. Bitter spicy tea. Restore some of that burnt stamina. I should eat one of these, um... These are about to rot. Spiny meringues. Stamina recovery four. Got way too much water right now. Empty. 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 Let's go quick slot. I'm gonna go. Mm. So I go I'll go great life. You know, I'll go great life in the five. Hmm. Bandages in three. Going up against Tonosaurs and the like, I need to be able to bandage up quickly. They'll inflict that bleeding. I've died from bleeding multiple times. Um... I'm gonna leave those stegosaurs be. Leave those bandits be too. Just what are my knuckles doing? My knuckles are bad. Yeah, I gotta sleep and repair. I'm telling you, dude, the fang knuckles. Or the fang anything. Fang weapons in general. You gotta repair them like. At least once every 20 minutes, feels like. Um, I guess this is as good a spot as any. Oh, plant tent, nice. Alpha Tonosaur. Sleep for two, repair for five, maybe? Ambush 13%. Rest goes without incident. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go ahead and take this Alpha Tawny on. Hmm. Gotta get booned up. Gotta go prismatic. Hmm. Varnish. I guess I'll just go ice rag. Save my varnishes.
did some mana, mana restoration with that dish right there. Hmm. I hate we're on the they're on hillsides like this. Okay, is he gonna come at me? Uh, got him behind the tree. Okay, here he comes. Come on now. Nice. Come on. Ah. Yes. Oh. He bled out. gets the heart pumping. How's my stamina recovery? Oh, I don't have any. Okay. The other spiny meringue. I'll eat that. Half expected my knuckles to be somewhat damaged, even though I just repaired them. Okay, crimp. More crimp nut. Yeah. Trunk, scaled leather boots. So read them. Read the recipe for the boots. Scaled leather is a great set. Pretty cool set. Some phytosaurs and mana stone up that way. All right, I'm gonna head down this way. There's a few tonosaurs back here. It gets sketchy, especially when you're in the cave areas. It's tight quarters. Oh man. Okay, there's a tonosaur right there. Okay. Let's go bullet varnish. Come on. Come on. Yes. Come on now. Oh, it's 
scary. Scary. Palladium. That's my 77th gravel beetle that I've collected. All right, this is gonna get intense. A couple tonosaurs. See if we can get prismatic off a couple times. Okay, what else do we have? Yeah, let's go warrior elixir. Nice varnish. Let's do this. Just go marshmallow and tartine. Stam recovery five. Nice. Mana push. Good. Gotta go prismatic on alpha. He's a big boy. Missed him with prismatic? Come on now. Yes. Yes. Mm hmm. Sweepy. Yeah. Leave. Oh my goodness. I didn't make him leave. There you go. Not a girl? I wasn't sure if the sweepy would do its work, but it staggered him. Mana push put him to the earth. And I thought I was going to finish him off quick like. Take the root. There's the root. I wish it would show up in the bag so you could see what it looks like. Read the description of it. But it's just nowhere to be seen. There are actually a few different places to pick up the root. few different root locations. Yeah, there's a root right there. Take the root. Take the ghost eyes. Got the fireflies following me. Just take it all. Some stuff for uh, varnishes and things. There's another root location somewhere. It's down there. Hmm. Ok, 
Okay. Oh yeah, there it is. Actually, is that what... If I drop down that, I'm going to drop down that little... Um, I'm going to drop down that pit. I'm going to drop down that pit, see what's... Where it takes me. Oh, okay, it takes me here. All right. It's not where I was hoping. I was hoping it would take me to that third uh, root location. I guess the third root's just going to have to be... That'd be the worst if I fell off and died. Take the root, there it is. All right. That's gotta be the worst way to end a hardcore run is to fall off some sort of a high cliff and die. Oh my goodness, I almost did. Can't get lazy. We got the route. Can head back to Seer. Proved our metal. Marshmallow and Tartine. Hollow Marsh. Okay, Tonosaur. Sometimes I think I'm out of their reach. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Now she's got me bleeding. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, you're fine. Remain composed. Yeah? Nice. Good, 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 good. back, grab some blood mushrooms on the way. Some chasing me? Oh my goodness. Another one. I'm 
Missed? Missed with the sweep kick. Okay. Hmm. Get in there, nice. There you go. Mana push, put him to the turf. Didn't really do much. Mm. Nice. Good. The problem is they recover quickly. You stagger them, but they recover quick. They're agile. Yep. Random prismatic flurry. Post fight. It's pretty known for that. It's kind of a random skill after the fight's over. These fireflies is what probably got me noticed by that Tonosaur. I need to drop them off, drop these fireflies off right here. There you go, find your home. Got the firefly powder. All right, back to Seer. Actually, let's go to Monsoon first. Oh my goodness, these guys again. Oh, I got hit by that? How? Bang Knuckles damaged badly. <sighs> it's very classic. One of the Fang Knucks not badly damaged. Got the slowdown again. Yeah, we'll get out to Monsoon. We'll uh, we'll learn Blessed Boon from Mofat. We'll also see what kind of skills we can pick up from Galera. Oh, Focus. We can learn Focus. I don't want to fight the Phytosaur. I want to... Yeah. Probably shouldn't fight anything right now with the badly damaged knuckles. Probably wouldn't be wise. Not a wise thing. I haven't shown a lot of wisdom though in the last couple episodes, so maybe that would be in line with my with my recent style to, to do things that aren't wise. Alright, take the boat. I love this whole boat system. Out to Monsoon. When you got into the boat, I wish it would do like some kind of a cut scene where you're rowing. 
where you're just sitting in there in the boat. That'd be cool. Hmm. You? you there. Keep your eyes open in the marsh. Some missionaries are days late from a journey from Harmattan. If you have any information, please speak with Mofat, the residential area, the man with the straw hat. Okay, wrapped up in purifier quest. Find the white-clad missionaries on the Pilgrim Road, flanked with luminous sun pillars in the hollowed marsh. Speak with Mofat about it. Mofat's over here in the residential area. Watch yourself out in the marsh. It's never safe out there. Drop your guard for an instant, and you'll either be lizard food or end up swimming in toxic water. We need to talk about the trouble. Actually, I want to train with you first. I okay. I don't have fifty silver, so. Watch yourself out in the marsh. We need to talk it's about trouble. It's never safe out there. You've been out into the swamp recently, haven't you? I've been waiting on a, a friend of mine. To come home from a trip to Armatan. He is overdue by several days. Have you seen him along the way? I don't think so. What does he look like? <sighs> he's a plain-looking missionary. Often wears a hood. Wish I could give you more to go on, but he's your typical quiet, unassuming type of person. He would have come via the Pilgrim Road. If you find him, please, let me know, eh? Okay, Pilgrim Road. That's the road from Monsoon to the Chair's Knees. Okay, I need to get some silver. I need to sell some ingots. Is there something you need? Can sell some palladium. Can sell the Tonosaur Axe recipe. Um, yeah, sell a couple of ingots. Let's just sell four ingots. So I've got Cold Stone, Live Weedy. Get some Gayberry Wine. Oh, I've got Gayberry Wine. Okay, I've got some silver now. Let's go to Glear. Let's go. Let's learn Focus. The Discipline Boon. Hey there. I'm going to train with you. Focus. Grants a discipline boon. Increases your physical damage. That gives you the discipline boon. Um, slow metabolism. Takes more time for you to become hungry, thirsty, and sleepy. Yeah, I'll do that. Brace. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do brace. Greetings, friend. <laughs> Greetings. He's, he must be Carl Fishmonger, Carl's brother. There's a few in the game that have the same vo vocal style. Mana Ward. Um, got some Chakram. Chakram skills, but I don't think I'm going to mess around with those. Oh, Knuckles. What can I do for you? I want to have my equipment repaired. 
All right. All right. Cool. How can I help you? You have a ledger? You've earned yeah. this. How can I help you? Simple tent? No. Actually, what recipes? Mineral tea? How can I help you? I'm realizing I need mineral tea. Okay, she has other teas. Not mineral tea. Alright, let's go to the food vendor. We're gonna get marshmallow tartine. Marshmallow jam and bread. Stock up. Can I help you? Bitter spicy, bread of the wild jerky, marshmallow jelly. Marshmallow tartine. There it is. I should just get both of these. Mineral tea and needle tea. Um, get some gay berry wine. Get some bread so I can make the tartine out of that. Perfect. Read the recipes. Nice. And then another recipe. I really need to know. I really need great life recipe. Greetings, friend. <laughs> Greetings. Great life recipe. Is there something you need? Great life recipe is what I need. Ugh. Hmm. Doesn't have it. Blessed potion? Endurance potion. I guess. Um, endurance potion recipe been learned, yeah. Okay. Is there something you need? I'll buy the alchemy kit. Also gonna buy a cooking pot. How can I help you? Okay. Alchemy cook alchemy kit and cooking pot together. I'm gonna get some wood, start some fires. Fires. Let's place a couple of them. Okay. Spicy jerky with the alpha meat? No. Hmm. Soothing? No. Actually, yeah, I guess. I guess so. Hmm. Ice varnish. Bolt varnish. Do um, smoke root manual. 
seared root. Yeah, fire varnish. Uh huh. Gayberry wine. Is there something you need? Okay. Three fire varnishes. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine with that. Drink some clean water. Alright, now we can go learn Blessed Boon from Mofat. Got the 50 silver for it. Watch yourself out in the marsh. I want to train with you. It's never safe out there. For 50 silver, I can teach you a spell to summon a boon of blessing. It will protect you from the light and lightning magic from your opponents and increase the power of your own. Interested? Deal, here's your money. Listen to me. I will. I will listen to you. Thank you, Mofat. Hmm. Don't fall asleep on me. Well, at any rate, I think you've gotten the hang of the blessed boon. Now I finally have the money to buy that new alchemy set. Yeah. Nice. Helps him out getting a alchemy kit. Alright, so we got to get to the Pilgrim Road. Find the uh, lost missionary. And we also got to get back to High Lord Seer. Because we've got the root now. We've got the rare root that he requested. Dealt with a few Tonosaurs. Dealt with a couple Alphas. Daddy Tonys. And. But I think we'll, we'll look for that missionary right now first. Before we get back over to Seer. I'm going to end it right here though. We'll stop it right here. Thanks for watching. Still surviving. Still haven't succumbed to death yet. We'll see you on the next one. Will. Bye.